Char cloth has been used for centuries as a fire starter. You can ignite it with a single spark, and yet it burns slowly, giving you time to ignite your tinder bundle. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to make your own char cloth. So we're going to start out here with an Altoids can, and I've drilled a 3 8 hole in the end of it. Now, it doesn't have to be 3 8 that's just what I have. You can use whatever you have, and if you just have a screwdriver, you can just poke a hole through it. But um, got that little tin, it's handy for packing. And you can also use something like this cookie tin, and I've drilled a hole in the bottom of it, and I've already made some char cloth with this particular tin. So we're just gonna start out with this old t-shirt. Uh, it's a cotton t-shirt, and we're just gonna cut little strips that'll fit inside of this tiny Altoids tin. We're just laying them flat. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Nothing pretty. It's all gonna get burned here in a little bit. And uh, stuff them inside. And this just needs to be an organic material, either cotton, jute, linen. You can do it in rope form. So there's a number of ways you can do it, but we're just going to demonstrate with this t-shirt. So now this is ready to go into the fire. Now, if you have coals, you can just lay it in the bed of coals, or you can do it on the direct flame like I have here. You'll notice that smoke and even flame will start to come out of the hole after a little bit and it's going to take about 10 maybe 15 minutes but then the smoke and flame will stop coming out of the hole and that's when you know that you're through and you can take it off the fire and set it aside to cool now if this were nighttime you'd be able to see this thing is red hot and so you got to give it some time let it cool off and uh, no need to get in a rush here now this little tin can be used over and over again, and I like to use them to also store my char cloth inside of. So now let's look inside and see what we have. So as we pull our contents out, we should see that the char cloth is completely black. And that's a result of letting all the smoke and flame uh, clear out of the hole before we take it off the fire. I'll show you how I didn't succeed at that on another batch, but if you can notice here, this is all... It's still pliable, it's uh, stretchy somewhat, and it should be highly reactive. This is another piece that I made in a previous batch, and I didn't allow the smoke to completely clear out before I took it off the fire. And it's just not going to be quite as reactive. But that's really all there is to it. I hope this video has inspired you to get outdoors and learn a new skill and make some memories. I appreciate you checking out our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.